crowd on their feet singing the Believe anthem. Looks like it's about half full again here tonight as they slowly increase capacity at Rio Tinto Stadium. We got the whistle from Fotis Bazakos, the man in the middle tonight. Holt listed at 6'1", 185. Big guy, Brody to the edge of the area here. Lays it off, Rubin, Krylock turns, rolls it right to JT Marshankowski. Now Brody to the edge of the area. Ball poked away, but it's Rusnak pouncing right back on it. Albert puts it on that left foot. Keeps it on frame, but no real pace. There. Ruiz knocking that down. Here's Justin Mira. Mira puts it on that right foot. Has it go? Oh, he hit the crossbar. Justin Miram off the frame in the 17th minute. Well, Justin Miram, as he opens up, swivels his hips and just quick little stutter step. Beats the goalkeeper, cannot beat the crossbar. Great angle, great camera work. Marcinkowski at full stretch and just slams one off that crossbar. Instant replay courtesy of America First Credit Union. 82 years. Many dummies had. Cal. Cal trying to get around a whole tough angle and he puts it on the outside of the net. Again, it's Miram up high to win that ball. That's He's the been ball. great defensively That's for the ball. ourselves. Yep. And there's Rubio repeat for Albert Rusnak. 1v3. Rusnak. Marcinkowski pulls back there at the last second. Here are the Quakes. Great touch. Send the ball out wide. Slight touch from Toya. Shot from distance. Ochoa spills it and then covers up. Can RSL cash in on it here? Played along, throwing it in the air, and Krylock heads it for Rubin. On the butt! What a goal! Galazzo! Rubio Rubin! 43rd minute! Unbelievable! What a strike! Phenomenal! Everybody in Rio Tinto on their feet! What a moment! Rubio Rubin, two assists in his first game. Rubio Rubin, two goals in his second game. Rubio Rubin, my word! Outrageous! That is pure reaction. The thought, the execution. First touch, up and over, plants his feet. My word, what a goal from Rubio Rubin. And you feel the ball ripple the back of the net. You can feel it on the Richter scale. I do believe the technical term for this, Dunny, is a do-over. <laughs> yeah, Fotis didn't like the way Cade Cow had jumped the gun a little bit on that. Basically, keep doing what we're doing. Keep up the pressure. This is a high-tempo game. It's on us to keep it up. The one thing he did say he's looking for is... for Justin Miram. Miram hit the frame in the first half. The shot just past the post. Justin Miram, two good opportunities, so close. That left-hand side with the inside of his left. Starts with Paulo Ruiz. He gets forward, watches Miram 1v1 with Tommy Thompson. Gets on the inside. Marcinkowski trying to take away the near post, and as he hits it, there's just a little bit too much spin. Watch the spin of the ball. Just kind of pulls away at that last second. I'll get the set to come in for Matias Almeida at the San Jose Airports. Miram defending long run there by Fierro. And Ochoa able to cover up. Got the center back forward. They're going to go to Miram. Miram. Miram towards home. Crylock. Krylock, turn, shoots, good save, down to his right, Marcinkowski knocks it out. Watch him just body and spin him. Spins him off, Jungwirth gets caught biting. And good save from Marcinkowski, big old bear claw. <laughs> There's a bunch of numbers that just happened with the fourth, <laughs> but it looks like it's going to be Tanner Beeson. So they're going to sacrifice a defender. Wando's going to go at the point. Rios will go underneath. MLS meeting between these clubs last year. He scored both goals in San Jose's 2 0 win. Here's Miram. Miram oh. spins it towards the far post. Just wide. Justin Miram. Three chances tonight. Frame in the first half, and now he's had two go just wide in the second half. Yeah, he did well against Tommy Thompson. This time he does really well against Luciano. And ultimately, I wonder what his best position is. I was making the argument the other day, DJ, that playing for San Jose in this system, 
actually benefits him because it gives him more freedom. Oh, shot from distance, trying to tuck it inside that near post. Achoa, though, sees it the whole way and makes the save. Recycle this. And that ball headed just over the bar. Reset. Here's Rometty. Espinosa. Well out wide to Salinas. And there's a shot. Big seven Choa. Rebound. And San Jose has scored. The flag stays down. It's Wando again. And it is Wando in the 83rd minute. His 11th career goal. And of course, it was on a rebound. 67. Now when the shot is hit, Donnie Toya keeps him on side. You cannot get caught ball watching Chris Wondolowski. I don't know how many times players have to watch Chris Wondolowski with the tap-ins. He regenerates his run over and over and over and it's just lazy defending to not be touch tight with Chris Wondolowski. For Real Salt Lake, if you're not careful and search for that game winner, you're going to give up the game winner. Fierro. Fierro. Wando! 2-1! One. Wando! You knew he wanted the go-ahead goal, and he just got it. Off the bench with a brace, and San Jose takes the lead in the 87th minute. It's a cruel, cruel punishment for Real Salt Lake, but it, it's horrific marking again. Nobody's touched tight. How are you not touch tight with Chris Wondolowski in the box? For Eric Holt, you've got to stay touch tight. It's the second time Chris Wondolowski has burned you for a goal within the course of four minutes. It's Pablo Ruiz trying to pick out that top corner over the bar and out. Well, he said he was going to add a minute. We got about 50 seconds, and he's not even going to give the extra minute. This game comes down to 10 minutes, DJ. 10 minutes. 83rd minute to the final whistle.